So in this lab, we're doing uh, basic research to try to understand uh, the mechanisms of cancer and how they play out. And then eventually what we hope to do is translate that research, that basic science research, uh, into uh, clinical practice. And the goal here really is to getting deep into the biology of what turns a normal cell uh, into a cancer cell. Biological research is very expensive. In order to get you know, the latest equipment, the latest technology, it takes um, a lot of funding and a, and a lot of resources. Um, and this is really where Ovarian Cancer Research Fund really comes in. That money is real money. It's coming right to our lab. It's coming to our research. What is it that goes wrong in these cells that takes a normal healthy cell and basically makes it go haywire? DNA repair mechanisms are really at the heart of what turns a normal cell into a cancer cell. Our approach to cancer in the past has really been just brute force. We really want to come up with new strategies that can selectively target uh, the ovarian tumor cells. You know, all these cancers behave and act very differently, and they all have different genetic changes. So the good news is we have proteins that are called DNA repair proteins, and BRCA2 is one of these proteins. But the curious case of BRCA2 is that it looks for damage in the DNA, and then it recognizes that damage and it can actually bring other proteins to that site of damage and pluck out that DNA damage and repair it. So these particular cells are actually fallopian cells isolated from a patient, and they keep dividing. And now we can do our experiments uh, in these cells outside of the patient. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock out or delete the BRCA2 protein to try to understand how they respond uh, when there's no longer BRCA2 protein uh, expressed in these cells and try to understand uh, what that process does in terms of ovarian tumor genesis. So if you have one non-functioning copy of, of BRCA2, this process is, is compromised, and that's why we think these people are, are predisposed um, to cancer. And maybe that'll give us some clues as to what are these early steps in the cancer progression process, and then can we detect these uh, clues as biomarkers? Because uh, as we know, the earlier you can detect uh, an ovarian tumor cell, the, the better off your prognosis will be. So here under this microscope, we're looking at cells that are expressing a fluorescent protein. And we can take that protein that fluoresces from a jellyfish and actually insert it into human cells, ovarian cells, for example. Um, and that can mark the cells. It can mark tumor cells, we can mark uh, normal cells, uh, and then see if one cell type can outcompete the other, or treat that population of cells with a drug and see if we can selectively kill the tumor cells uh, and spare the normal healthy cells. We're gonna come up, at least with better selective therapeutic strategies. Uh, they're gonna make patients happier, they're gonna have higher cure rates, more progression-free survival. I'd really like to express you know, my deepest gratitude to Ovarian Cancer Research Fund and, and QVC for, for believing in our work.